prepared. You need some oh, good nice. Pictures. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, more maps. Now, this map is certain. Now, watch. I, I, I saw this other map. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a map of this. Wow. So, it's kind of cool. Because he's got oh. the 2D map for you, but if you want to blow this up and show it to your players, you can kind of get. Or you could run, you can run the map on that. Just put a little. He could, yeah, he could that. if you wanted to. You could put, you could try. <laughs> That's to really that cool. Off and... Or um, or or he he can do what Drake does and make the different layers. Yep, yep. Make different layers on your maps because you know it'd also be super good like for that. Uh, portals. Portals. Yeah. Portals. Exactly. Portals. I'm just saying. Item Veil of the Dust. This vase of dust is older than most human civilizations. Oh. It's a legendary. Wow. Requires attunement. What can you do with it? Charming ash. Twice mm. per day as an action, the user can throw the ash from the vase at one creature. DC 17 charisma. The creature becomes charmed and obeys the user's orders. Hello. Repeat save once a day. Reanimating ash. Twice per day as an action, the user can throw ash from the vase at one dead creature it rises as an undead so if one of your party members dies you can just raise him <laughs> come oh, on you can look, still here, come here he is. this is your guy this was your cleric he's got arrows all in his face <laughs> oh dc 17 i know that's tough well at uh, least you don't have to carry his body back to town he could just walk well i okay as a level five character i don't think dc 17 is too crazy yeah, you're baller at level five. I mean, I feel like a baller when I'm level five. Oh, my volume is low again. Not this shit again. My volume is jacked. My volume's at is at max. So, I mean, I could be far. I could be a little bit away from the mic. So that might. I mean, yeah, I was kind of faced away from the mic. Sorry, everybody. You have to get up and close to it. Hydrate. Or, or you know, what you do. You can. Turn everybody else down. Well, but then everybody's low. And then everybody oh. else will have to turn up their fucking volume. <laughs> All right. Hopefully it's better now. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's see. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Okay, so that's that one. So then let's close that. And kind let's of reminds open... me of uh, Happy Jacks. Yeah. Really? And Artificer's Tale was also recently released. If you're, if you're like the same. For that program or whatever and this is let's a level seven something. adventure yes and this one it, it's interesting i mean to see i i don't know i always think like adventures being starting at level three or level five just because i feel like characters are pretty established there but when it says we're gonna be at level seven i'm like that's odd yeah it is odd literally um so um, this has creating and it's the same kind you know his format is the same he gives you a little bit of setup gives you uh primers or adventure hooks like this Ooh, this one's all fancy with this picture different different converters did these uh uh the shifting laboratory okay let me let me put in the link for the, the artificer's tell here he is adrian Adrian Shradnar, Shard Shradner, and this is Ellis. Looks so me. handsome. And this, she oh, here's a map. Like okay, smart. so let's get the. Uh, Those are big eyes. Map. And then let's, of course, I don't like how Fantasy Ground starts the image is so small, but that's maybe because my screen is max. Huge. Uh, yeah, exactly. So let's yeah, go see. back to your laptop, then you'll see. You'll yeah, like, then I'll <laughs> see. Uh, line aside, everybody. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Ooh. It's beautiful. So, do either of these adventures? I didn't check on the other one, but did uh, does this one have any unique uh, unique monsters or NPCs? I know this has like a item. So these are unique NPCs. Invisible stalker. Hello. Uh, let's see items. That sounds awful. That sounds terrifying. There is Adrian special spices key to the trap door. Uh, spoiler. <laughs> potion, spider keys, wand of the tinkerer. So there's some items here. Um, oh, that's cool. I always like to see new, new stuff, new creative, original items. Yeah, these are just the areas one through seventeen. So they're probably going to just have encounters and parcels. Wait a minute. Story. 
the shifting laboratory. Oh, oh, so there's a whole big thing about that. Somebody's ice. <laughs> Somebody's ice in their glass. <laughs> um, there's a library. It's a. They put an A in it, but I'd say or two R's. I say one R. Library. Um, just like Muschetti when you're a kid. Spell scrolls. So you can roll on the table. Boom. Uh, of course you're gonna have to have the Dungeon Master's Guide. Um, which I think he says, uh, the, the DM must own the DMG and have the module open to access the three. See, it's just all, my guys are good. They know what they're doing. Um, 16, 17. Okay. Adventure conclusion. And then here, Misty Potion, Spider Keys, uh, Miss, uh, Wand of the Tinkerer. So you can put, uh, you can make that, the water and the potion, like, swirl with fantasy grants now so yeah yeah you could you could open that pick right and then you could put like a, an effect on it should we do it yeah do it do it just do, do it, it real quick unlock it go to add effects layer uh, go to water and then you there can... it is now now hit the mask button to the down in the middle towards the middle of the screen on the right there's a mask button oh mask button. a little bit yeah a little bit to the left right there no not that one the one left yep now you can alt and unmask hold alt and under oh, alt is can i do shift and do like no alt yeah but it's only a square or maybe it's control one of them you can oh, uh, i did alt yeah i did control yeah it was supposed to be yeah square. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. No, and then you can play with the speed and all that if you want. Right. So you can, you can. Now I just want you to put glitter in there. Can you put glitter in? There? Let's see. I don't uh, want they, swirly shit. They, one time they were playing with lightning effects, but it started like really croaking the system. That was way in the beginning. Yeah, let's so let's try a it. mist. Oh no, that's wrong. Oh wrong. no, mist oh, never works no. for anything. <laughs> Water. Clouds yeah, I use it, a lot. It kind of changes the color. Let's. I had water. I did. It's funny. I did water, and then it said ocean. I don't know where the hell that came from. Interesting. Do. Yeah, that's glitter. Turn the rain. Up. There you go. See, glitter. It's so pretty. <laughs> oh anyway, god. So you, guys, you know, you guys can mess with that <laughs> and do anything you want. So there you go. It's amazing. Uh, it is amazing, and so that's that. So there you go. Now. Who has questions? Anybody in the chat have questions? Not about just this, but anything. Uh, you do that with healing potions when agitated. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So uh, similarly dreadful. Uh, I don't recognize your name as being somebody who hangs out here often. So welcome. I think they've been here before. Oh well, welcome again. Seems familiar. He says, uh, "I never thought of doing that with images." Yeah. So Drake, uh, our uh, co-host here, Drake is wonderful DM. Uh, he does our Saturday game and many other games on his own channel. And he often does that with maps. He puts the weather in. He puts, and he, like, if there was a potion with a picture, he would have done exactly what we just did. He would have made it shimmer. And so, um. <laughs> I've made, for the Saturday game, Clancy, I made, you can like. fuck right off. <laughs> he said he missed my <laughs> CCV. He wants to remember. See if he can have it. It's 007. <laughs> um, that card might be. I might have to change. I don't. I don't know how. Many, I mean, the video's gone. The, you know, we, I don't know if anybody wrote that down seriously. Then you know, what what fan of mine is coming to my show and watching the show for four years, waiting for a chance to get my credit card number? So this can, fan right so here can go run up my five hundred dollar credit limit. <laughs> uh, it's a little more than that. Um. I have a confession to make. I have owned the Sirenscape Soundlinks extension and module that Matt Curie made for like over a year, and I've never implemented it in a game until tonight. And dear Lord, it was easy. Yeah, and it's amazing too because all the sounds. And now, you know, before, uh, until recently, you would want to use the Sirenscape online player, which you had to download as an app like this. But now you don't need to do that anymore. Because Sirenscape has a browser version 
that does everything that the downloadable thing does, except you just give your players the the browser, you know, the the the, the URL, and it's done, and that's it. And I just so leave it open in the tab. How do you go? Let's see. Is, is this it? Yeah, this is it right yep, here. There it is. Yep, this is what it would look like. And then if sounds play, they would all generate down here and you'd hear them and you can control the volume. You know, individual players can control. I have mine set at 40%. And then if you click on new game as a GM, which I believe I did, did I have to click it again? Yeah, okay. Then you can go in here and you can do like targeted searches for all your sounds. You can go to any, I own, I have the Sirenscape, uh, whatever the full on, uh, 22 bucks every two months, whatever that one is. I can't remember the name of it. The Super Sirenscape, I think. And um, look, it's even telling you that you got both of them open. Oh yeah, and and it doesn't sync. So let me if I close this, maybe it'll say, maybe that'll go away. And I go away in a second. Here, let me. Oh, it did. See, boom. It's all very. It's really smart. But I can come over here and I can go. I want to search. Um. Dungeons and Dragons only. And I want to search adventures. And within those adventures, I want only official content. So you can see I've got Lost Minds, uh, Dragons of Ice Spire Peak, Baldur's Gate, Sinister Secret, all this stuff. And then I want to search for um, like Yell. And I'll probably get like you know, 300 results. Oh, no results. Okay, well, give me something to search for, everybody. Shout. Shout, okay. No. I mean, I, uh, really, I really did narrow down the... But, like... Uh, arrow? Maybe, let's look for rain. There's got to be some rain. Yeah, okay, so there's two results. So there's rain sounds and rhyme of the frost made it in Curse of Strahd. So let's go to Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. And oh, here, now do I play the sound? Here we go. Play the sound. Available to play. And by the way, I do not know how to use this. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. Cold open. What are you trying to do? I don't know. I'm just trying to play. But yeah, I mean. Uh, just click on one of those. It's Asylum Station or something. Open it up, and then the button. Oh will right, be in I the mean, I know how to do that. You can, you know, click on the. Yeah. Are you trying to make sounds? You can add sounds your own. Personal no, no, no. I just too. was. I just was basically showing that it's basically all browser based now. You don't have to open anything else on your computer. You don't have to download any software because Bane was saying <laughs> that he he used the. Yeah, that Gary sound extension. Exactly. So <laughs> help me. Help me. Yeah. He's saying that uh, this is why the Mad Curry setup makes life your so much easier. Right. So if you're if you go here to if you go here to my uh Forge page, Matt Curie has down toward the bottom, he's he's the solid green color. He's got uh, Ma uh, Sirenscape sound links, and also I must have passed it. Uh, Sirenscape chat triggers. So the sound links makes all the sounds work, and the chat triggers is a separate thing that you can get that basically makes a sound for almost anything you do in the game. If you attack, it makes your weapon sound, and all the weapon sounds are different. And if you hit, you hear like blood splattering. And if you roll initiative or, you know, and if you win a combat, yay, and, you know, whatever. So, like, a, Drake, we have so many sounds in our game. And then players trying to annoy everybody can type, like, fart or pee in the chat, and it'll make those sounds. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fun. So, what else, everybody? If you have questions about Fantasy Grounds, let us know, because we can, uh, and, and uh, and Rob, both Robin and Fury, well, we all kind of have a hard out at 7 o'clock. So in 30 more minutes, the show's over for sure. So it's Sad over. Because those guys have to, people have to have lives and I don't know. 
My kid has a band meeting tomorrow morning. <laughs> so. What instrument? Band does he play? meeting. Mm -hmm. What instrument does he play? Uh, so they're actually deciding. Like tomorrow is the first parent band meeting thing where we get to like meet with the people who are renting out the instruments if you don't own them and they get to try all of the instruments because this is my middle kid's first year doing band so he oh. he put on his like little request sheet that he wants to play flute or clarinet so hopefully he'll get to play one of those that's what I did when I joined band in middle school I wanted to play the flute because my mom did but I just wasn't very um, good at blowing. <laughs> Wait, ben, we were. Don't say that out loud. Ben, <laughs> ben, ben has suggested that everybody, you guys just want to run away to watch House of the Dragon. That's funny. That's what no, I said. I wish. That's what I said. That's what I said. Oh. We were anybody too watch poor. The I, first had to, episode I had to join week? chorus. No, not yet. Anybody in the chat watch? Uh, I, anybody, I have to it, admit that I haven't seen Game of Thrones, so. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Well, you should watch the first seven seasons and just skip the eight. <laughs> well, I could watch this season. first, right? It, it it does take place before the Game of Thrones, right? So I'm not yeah, it takes wait. place 170 years. Before. Yes, but I would still watch the original series first. I plan yeah, on it. Like, it's like it's kind of like you, you should watch if you're going to watch Better Call Saul. You should watch Breaking Bad first. Uh, we'll see a different side of Matt Smith than we've ever seen before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his ass probably is what they're talking about. Winnick, thank you. For, 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 thank you for. I don't know. I watched The Crown and I saw a different side of, of Matt Smith. I, you know, I didn't even. I don't even know who Matt Smith is. He's probably the Me one. Of the, yeah. <laughs> he was a Doctor Who. Oh, he was. Yeah, my friend said he was one of the Doctor Who's. Um, Doctor Who. Doctor Who. <laughs> Doctor Who. <laughs> who? <was it? laughs> Um, no, it's Doctor Who with a question mark. Doctor Who? Doctor Who? All right, who's who's asking? Who's who's typing in the Discord while the show's happening? Don't they know? Just come over here. Anyone check out the new playtest material yet? I kind of know. I kind of like how languages are tied to background now. Interesting. I hey, but has anybody looked at the new playtest material? I looked at it and some i didn't read all of it but some, some of it, yeah. and thursday opens the the survey and i can't wait to fill out my opinions i mean i'm just uh out. i've seen some people talk about it uh they were talking about the different things like uh lineages uh and then also the the half races yes so one of my things that i didn't like and this is a thing that everybody already thought was a thing anyway and it's not but currently <clears throat> if you're rolling a check or a save, <coughs> there's okay. no such thing as a critical failure or a crit. You know, if you want to, yeah, if you roll a one or a not. 20, that's just a one or a 20. Well, they are changing it to where a one is an automatic failure and a 20 is an automatic success on saves and checks. I do not like that. I don't like it. Mm. So if anybody's interested... If you guys want to know, so what the we're DM's just going to restrict you that you can't roll if it's if he doesn't want you to succeed. So there you go. That's how yeah. you fix it. Um, oh, you don't get the roll. So if anybody's <laughs> interested, I will put a link if I can find. This is not the proper link. Whatever this is it. Well, uh, yeah, actually, this is it. Here, I'll just give you this. Yeah, Iron Arthur can. I never, I never. If somebody says, "Can I play from Iron Arthur?" I'm like, no. No, no, it's test. It's play. So here, here's everything. Yeah. I'll just go through it real quick. We won't spend too much time on it. But uh, let's see. Uh, sorry, let me go back to the top for one second. So character origins, origins. is a big section on that, right? And then, I think that's whatever, or I think that's what some people enjoyed the most about it. Was yeah, the character I think, origins. And I, and I, of course, didn't read that because I'm like, because my attitude about that is whatever they want to change in there is fine. I don't care about that stuff. Character hydrate. backgrounds. Um, right now, this minute, hydrate. Hydrate. Thank you, Br Gemmet. I talk into my water a little bit. Um, how's my sound now, bitches? All right. Okay. So oh here God. Uh, uh, yes. background, sample backgrounds. So there's a flashback background material. for the boys. This is uh, 21 pages. It's <laughs> like a flashback to using Mumble like 10 years ago. <laughs> 
<laughs> Starting languages, which somebody was just talking about. Feet descriptions. Here's the descriptions of feats mentioned in the document and backgrounds. The feats are presented in alphabetical order. So, yeah. Okay, so there's new feet info. And then it got now now we're getting down to what I was looking at. Um rules glossary, because Rob Dewey, Rule Tui. Uh gotta gotta fuck with the rules. Um Arcane Spells draws the ambient magic for a bard source of warlock. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Artisans tools. Okay. Yeah, they're they're gonna be all fifteen gold pieces. Ignore the player's handbook. Uh, Did they reduce some creature types? Is that, well, the list looks a little shorter, no? Including every player, because player mostly players are humanoid. Uh, rules that uh, here's a list of game creature types in alphabetical order. Yeah, so I don't know. If the, I don't think so. I think there was fourteen, right? Four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, I think there's still fourteen. Uh, By the way, uh, street cam. Oh, street cam. Okay, let's pause right here on the D twenty test. This is where I get pissed off. See that it's still daylight out. And let's do the street cam. <laughs> It is still daylight. Like... And oh, there's a bright red pussy wagon over there. What is that? <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> well, if you've seen Kill Bill, you know what I'm doing. No. No. Yeah, I mean, so, I've seen Kill Bill, I've but I, I, so in, in Kill Bill, uh, Uma, Uma Thurman drives a truck that that has pussy wagon painted on it. Yeah, but yeah. why is that the bright red one? That no, I don't know. It just looks it looks the same shape. Uh... As now we've got to go look up the fucking pussy wagon. This it's is just, how you get monetized. Just came, just came into banned. my head. See, that's, red flames. It's, it's almost it's roughly. She's got a spoiler and her thing's a little lower, but. I was about to say, I'm like, there's no camper on the pussy wagon. No, but but it's too, it's far away, it's far away. So I was like, what up, what's up? Oh, and nobody, of course, nobody saw that what I just did because I. Did now we it. have to delete this one too. No, no, I did that. That didn't go on screen. That didn't go on screen. Uh, all right. Anyway, there's the street camera. Everybody. Let's go back. Die. To <laughs> we have we have to start the stream over. Uh, start the round over, Robin. Start it over. Um, <laughs> that's a Wednesday thing. Uh, yep. The term D20 test encompasses three main... Yeah, abilities, attacks, and saving throws. Right. So now they're saying rolling a 1, regardless of any modifiers in the roll, automatically fails. Rolling a 20, regardless of any modifiers, is a success. No. Boo. Now, this is all fucking crazy. So now are they going to bring back this whole thing about critical hits where you have to re-roll and get another 20 for it to be a fucking confirmed critical hit? No. they. I don't think they are, but... I, well, I mean, that's what it kind of feels like. It's like, well, we're going to bring back... Weapons and unarmed 20. strikes have a special feature for players. Critical hits. If a player rolls a 20 or an attack roll with a weapon or an unarmed strike, the attack is also a critical hit, which means extra damage. Right, okay. You roll... Right, we already knew that. For example, okay. If your weapon or unarmed strike has no damage dice, it deals no extra damage on a critical hit. So, like, if your unarmed strike does one damage, not a roll, but just a one straight damage... It doesn't do mm-hmm. anything else. It just does one on a crit. But I think that was already the same. Divine and they spells, say they're taking that taking crits away from monsters. I heard Jeremy Crawford talking about it. The oh, monsters yeah, already that. have that kind of thing. They're gonna, oh, they got so that's why okay, my DM went off on a tangent about that last night, saying how his monsters will have critical hits. I'm like, uh, okay. I didn't think they didn't have critical hits. Long run, okay. Yeah, I read the rest stuff. It's, it's yeah, some of this stuff is just w- word clarifications, but some of it's changed. But anyway, you, you guys can uh, you guys can read this and then uh, did, did I put the link? I, maybe I should put the did I put it? I thought I did. Yeah, you did. I did. Okay, and you then did. they just have to scroll up, right? And then uh, you can um, starting Thursday. Mark this on your calendars, everybody. Can't I go to the just no more class spells? Just give me the here. Yes. Okay, so I'll give you that. You guys, this link, and starting Thursday, you can come here and click on uh, feedback to. Uh, do the survey and make your thoughts known. Tell them that you Rob said this one in 20 bullshit. No, 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 no. 
your own original thoughts. Yeah, well, if I'm, you like it, no go ahead and tell them that you like yeah. it. But this gives, you know, when they did, uh, you know, nine years ago in 2013 and or 2012, 2013 and early 2014, or whenever that was, they did D&D Next. And they literally gave, gave the game to what was going to be 5th edition to like 250,000 playtesters. And they let them make comments and stuff. And then they, they took all their considerations. That's why 5e is so good is because they basically listened to the fans and did like what most people thought was the best or what most people liked or whatever. Because you're never going to please everybody, right? You can't like as a stand-up comic, I learned that rule. You're never going to please everybody. Um, and then, yeah, and, and 1D&D is completely reverse compatible with 5e so yeah as far as fantasy drones knows like uh, bane is saying i hope smite works decides to keep 5e version and then do the new 1 D version i don't know how that's going to work to be honest because all would the it just modules... be as easy as uh clicking a rule set or something well but all the modules that have already been made will all still work when they do the new rules so i don't know what they're going to do uh mm, that's true and they definitely decided to not go the route of calling it 6th edition. They're not doing that. Because Why? In, well, because it's not really, it's not a new edition. It's just modifications. It's it's kind of like a So they call it fucking 5.5. Right, but then that was stupid. 3.5. That was just dumb. <laughs> it's just like 5th edition advanced, you know. Or something. Well, but they already have that. That's a that, that somebody's right. already had a named a thing called advanced 5e. Uh Robin knows about that. And, uh, <laughs> sure and, do. Uh, D&D 4 was poop. Made by a third party publisher. We don't even we don't even talk about D&D 4th edition. We just skip over that. Yeah. So um you know, 2024, they're going and that's the 50th uh, 50th anniversary. I might get a tattoo. I might get the red ampersand on my right arm. No, you won't. Well, for the that requires you to leave the house. No, no. But listen, you know, I already have a tattoo. Don't you know? Bad for your, your new. We know. Liver. We know. But bad for your new liver. No, I got the. I got. I had my liver in 2014, and I got my tattoo in 2016. Yeah, but this is now post 2020. You're not going to get anything done. You're not going to be stabbed. Anyway, with needles repeatedly. What I'm thinking of is. Um, Fury's gonna do the tattoo herself. I'm gonna, add, oh, so fuck. She's gonna do it with her kitchen. I can add some FX layers to it in fantasy ground. She's just gonna throw some red food coloring on it and smear it in with a clop. We're um, gonna use red, we're gonna do a prison five. tattoo. Red Rob number left five the house guy. to point to something on stream once. That's funny. <laughs> um, so, um, but I did it for the 50th anniversary of Star Trek, which was 1966. And so 2016 was the 50th anniversary. Also happened to just coincidentally be my 50th anniversary. But um, 2024 is the 50th anniversary of D&D. So I might do it. But what what, what 50 year, 58 year old man is going to be getting a, a tattoo? I, I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, I mean, we'll see. Lobsters? Biker? Who's a that? Biker? A sailor? <laughs> So uh, does that mean I have to be one of those? Russian That's mafia. <laughs> no, no. But I mean, you know. I could see you on a Harley. A three-wheeled Harley. <laughs> Next like week, in, everybody. Like in any which way but loose. The, the guy. Yeah. Remember, Next the, week, the don't guy. miss it because it's trivia night. And we're going to give away. We're going to give away a prize tonight, by the way, but because we always do. But we're gonna give. I don't think there's ever been a show where I haven't given away a prize. I, I think I've done it every time, two hundred and sixteen times. But next week we're gonna. There's give been away a few a lot shows that we had to remind you, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, because like I almost forgot in, until I looked at this, and so here, let me pull that up. We, and gonna... put me on on the eleventh. Put me uh, as off. Oh, Drake. Drake is Drake is off. Okay. Uh... Oh, I'll be off too. Really? Because I'll be traveling. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it might be. The, so I've almost done a show by myself. But if Robin doesn't come that day, I'll be doing a show by myself. <laughs> by myself. All right. Um, you're laughing. You're not confirming or denying. You're just <laughs> laughing through your nose. Um, I roll. It's Labor Day weekend. Okay. So what was I going to do just then? Uh, 
states like he travels like 9-11 uh those who don't fucking care yeah and the, 20, the 21st anniversary of the fucking towers crashing in the pentagon i'm not i'm not traveling by plane okay it's by car i'm traveling by oh hold on i gotta make a note here mm-hmm. what what are we doing Show. what's happening November 20th? Rob on secret mission. Cannot, what? I cannot reveal you can't time. say this shit to us. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't have, it's only personal. It doesn't have anything to do with the show or D&D or, any, or fantasy, nothing. Talking it's, someone. He's talking it's a, someone. It's a personal mission. So it, ha- oh it has Oh my god, be, is this a hookup? No, I'm sorry. It's kind of a hookup, but not sexual. <gasps> oh. It's not sexual. It's my friend... Who, uh, my friend Jeff. Do you not know the word secret? You're not supposed to say any shit about it. Yeah, but how, if I say secret mission, nobody knows. One person knows. One, <laughs> there's one person who knows. But it's not my friend. And my and this I'm gonna. So my my best friend from childhood, 1972. It's our it's our 50 years of friendship. And I'm kidnapping him. Uh, to go to an undisclosed location for an undisclosed event, which I will say after I come back. Okay. And I'll have pictures and everything. But yeah, no. Oh shit. Yeah. That's. Uh, is, there, is there a bounce house? Because remember what happened the last time? There was a bounce house. There's no bounce house. The fact that Rob is leaving the house makes me nervous. No, no, I left the house yesterday. Come on. I have to go to. Backing up at Walmart. I will tell you that it is not <laughs> Vegas. Making his first sugar daddy meetup. <laughs> No, no, I'd be bragging about that. I mean, and there'd be, there wouldn't just be pictures, there'd be video. But, uh, oh, Lord. yeah, that's not, oh, wait, I guess that's supposed to be blue. I don't know how this works. Let me put that there like that. Uh, so yeah, the se- November 17th through the 21st. Yeah, okay, so that's just that day that I won't have a show there. But I'll be gone for about, oh, almost a week. Mm-hmm. I got to drive to Seattle, pick up my friend, take him to the airport. Get on the plane. He has no idea where we're going. <laughs> and then go to the thing, do the thing, and then come back. All right. So that's all set to go. Um, This will just be, unless something weird happens, this will just be this again on the week after. Okay. So if you have uh, any more questions, guys, we're probably going to shut the show down. But if you have any more questions about fantasy Do you downs, want to do your giveaway? Uh, oh, oh <laughs> Jesus Christ. We were just talking he's about are, this. He's yeah, already thinking about kidnapping his okay. friend. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to give away a prize. I'll just type, type, type prize this time. And the prize is going to be, if you if I pull your name from the drawing, you can ask to have any single item from the DMs Guild or any item from the Fantasy Grounds Forge, whichever you, whichever you desire. And the keyword is kidnap. But, uh, McClancy, you'll have to type that in again, of course, because you did it before the, <laughs> before the kidnap tech is in. Although you should probably in, paste if you did Gemma, want Zayshan's in, Havoc's in, Kevalon's in, Pave the World, Thurlor, you guys are all in. Vane is in. Winax, Fenster, Similarly Dreadful, Lady Elkill, Mosque you know I haven't entered in a while. I'm entering. Okay. McClancy's, oh, there he goes. He actually did. Clancy's in. Rob, Rob in. you're in. <laughs> yeah. uh, what if I win? I'll just redraw, of course. Our hammer's in. Drake Jakes is in. If I win, I'll donate 50 bucks to American Red Cross. Nice. Now we want you to win. Now I want you to win. How do I pull? Can I just double click his name? Oh, you can, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, uh... <laughs> Keyword raffle closes in now. All right, let's see who who won. Draw winner right here. Drake takes. Oh, GWD005. Congrats. He won recently uh, about six weeks ago. He won a prize. And so congrats on that. Now, GWD, you've won before. You know what to do. Send me your... Send me a DM in Discord and... Uh, if you want, remember that if you're taking sub, excuse me, if you're taking something from DMs Guild, I need your email 
if you're taking something from the forge, I need your fantasy grounds forum name because that's how that works. Mhm. 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 Right. Uh huh. So. Pretty good. I, I I guess no more fantasy grounds questions. I can close that. I'm not going to close it because someone. If I close it, then someone will ask a question. How do you? How do you? Uh, right. So I'm going to leave it open. <laughs> Is Diablo Bob here? No, I don't think I didn't so, see him enter. No, but Lady or Bane said sorry, Diablo Bob. I tried to win <laughs> for you on your behalf. Hey, Drake takes did donate ten percent of what he said he was going to donate if you want. Bosk and Foz says, uh, or is asking, tip. how do you close Fantasy Grounds? How do you close Fantasy Grounds? There's two ways to do it. Uh, <laughs> there's two ways to do it without using keys on your keyboard. One of them is to right click the desktop, choose Edit Session. Now. You can choose this arrow to return to the launcher, or you can choose the X, which of course will close it all the way. Another way that's not preferred to do it is you can just click the X in the upper right-hand corner. There are other ways but to like do it with said, keys. Not preferred. Yeah, not preferred. So, oh, also, uh, I mean, do you still do the the slash save? Uh, you do not have yeah. to do that. You can do that if you do slash save. It will save the current campaign. But when you close Fantasy Grounds, no matter how you close it, it will, except for maybe like a power outage, I don't think, that, but mm -hmm. if you, if Fantasy Grounds itself shuts off, it will just automatically save everything in the campaign because that's how it does. And then how you know that's happening is uh, in your Fantasy Grounds campaigns folder, this, the one for the show is here, it saves the db.xml and it, it also saves the last... I think every time you open it, or it's some crazy amount. They say it auto saves every five minutes. It might. It might do yeah, that. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yep, that's a five lot. Minutes. Oh but yeah, it, uh, yeah. I haven't save. closed it, and it saved at six fifty. Oh, but I, I typed slash save. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, yeah. So I think it saves every. We could wait five minutes to see if it does it. Okay. Not, do 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 do. <laughs> Uh, say Sean, good night, good night, buddy. Thanks for coming by. Uh, good night. So, yeah. I oh my God, he's stealing your line, Rob. Huh? He's he's he said good night, everyone. Oh. <laughs> Although you say good night, everybody. No, no, no. I <laughs> I don't say good night, everybody. I say good gaming, everyone. No, no, no.